When Acura brought back the coveted Type S name a couple years ago, it really started a new performance era over at Acura. Well, today I'm at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show because the company is looking to make the latest TLX Type S a little more special. This right here is the 2023 TLX Type S PMC. Let's take a first look. So in case you guys are wondering, PMC stands for Performance Manufacturing Center, which means this car is actually hand-built at the same performance manufacturing plant that also builds the Acura NSX. As you guys know, the NSX is their supercar, which will be discontinued for the 2022 model year. But however, the TLX PMC Type S is going to basically soldier on with the same lovely powertrain that we first sampled in the regular Type S. This is the company's first new engine in a long time. It's a three liter turbocharged direct injection double overhead cam V6. Uh, this powertrain makes 355 horsepower and 354 pound feet of torque. It goes out through standard super handling all wheel drive. And of course an Acura designed 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is rated at 19 in the city, 25 on the highway. And you'll be doing zero to 60 in the low low uh, five second range, perhaps even under five seconds during certain conditions. We've had a chance to drive this already. It's a fantastic car to drive. Uh, although I do wish Acura had given the PMC model a little bit more power. Basically why you're gonna buy this is for the exclusivity. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the styling changes. Now, if you guys want this vehicle, Acura is only gonna build 300 of them. That's right, 300 for the 2023 model year. There's only gonna be three colors, Curva Red, 130R White, and of course this Long Beach Blue Pearl. A hundred of these will only be painted in blue. So again, this will be an extremely rare car if you happen to see it out on the road. And it's basically built off of the regular TLX Type S with the high performance tire package. You can see the long bleach blue pearl color is exclusive to or was exclusive to the NSX. It looks fantastic here on the body lines and proportions of the TLX. You can see you have the company's corporate diamond pentagon grille with the very large Acura logo that houses the Acura watch full driver assistance tech. You can see the headlights have that design that we like with the full chicane style LED headlights with LED low and high beams. No fog lights on this model, but you do have some uh, actual openings down there, some uh, functional openings in the lower front skirt. The splitter you can see on the PMC is gloss black and it has kind of like a more aggressive look to it. It really gets, stands out along with the kind of the black surrounding the diamond pentagon grille. Overall, let me know what you, what you think about the styling in the comments below. I still think this is a one handsome looking sedan, especially when you look at it in your rearview mirror, if it's coming at you, it just looks low and wide. And remember, this is technically not the same platform as the all new generation Honda Accord. Now around the side profile, you can see those low and wide proportions are kind of accentuated again. This car rides on a 113 inch long wheelbase. Its overall length is 194.7. I just had a chance to drive the new Accord, which surprisingly, the Accord is about an inch longer than the TLX, but this car is about two inches wider and it's also a little bit lower. So it kind of gives that that more premium stance because remember, this is a midsize uh, sports sedan. Now looking at the wheels, you can see the PMC has the same Y spoke wheels that you get on the Type S with the high performance tire package. However, they are painted in this bronze color. You can see the brake rotors are a little over 14 inches in the front. You have a twin piston Brembo caliper with red painted calipers. They look great riding on a 255 summer performance tire. So again, serious looking wheel. I also love the design. I also like the copper accents. Remember, uh, you can only get this car in blue, white, or red. Now, looking at the rest of the profile, you can see the badge here for Type S is also black accented. You have black accents for the side mirrors with integrated turn signals. You have black along the side skirts. You have black here for the door handles. And then you can see the roof is also painted black, which is nice because it kind of gives the car the impression that it has a panel roof. Remember, you do get a standard sunroof, but Acura still refuses to offer a panel roof on the TLX in general. You can see the window trim is also blacked out. And then when you look at the rear of the vehicle, you can see the design carries over here from the regular Type S, but you have this really nice carbon fiber accented rear lip spoiler, along with more of the black badging that you get for the Acura logo, the super handling all wheel drive badge. And then the exhaust tips also have been blacked out. It's kind of like that gloss, gloss black look to it, where it really just finishes off the uh, very understated but also aggressive and mature design element of this car. Now looking at the trunk capacity, TLXs are only in a sedan form so you have 13 and a half cubic feet of total space. You can see the seats do fold down in a 60-40 manner which is nice if you look underneath here. However, it looks like there is no spare tire. You just have to deal with a fix a flat kit. And if you want to compare this to the trunk space in like the Accord for example, the TLX has roughly about three cubic feet less. So for the exterior, Acura is pretty minimalistic with the changes, which I kind of like because the inside of this car was already 
a pretty nice place to spend time. However, as you can see, Acura kept it virtually the same. There are a couple of clues in here to let you know that you're driving an exclusive TLX. Now, first of all, the Type S model already comes very well equipped. It's got these very supportive and comfortable seats, which by the way, if you guys want the Long Beach Blue Pearl color, it only comes with the light orchid white interior. And as you can see here, there's also a contrasting blue stitching here that actually matches the exterior paint. It looks fantastic with the orchid and the black accents, the black piping. The interior itself, however, is basically the standard TLX fare. There is basically a, a couple things that also change. I noticed there's some carbon fiber here along the center console. And then you also have a, an exclusive badge here. It's going to tell you which number uh, of the actual build assembly line this one is. As you can see, this is a prototype model, so it says zero, zero, zero of zero. But it also shows you that it's built at the Performance Manufacturing Center because remember, this car is hand built, which is important because uh, when we get to the end of this video, I'll talk about the pricing for this car. But overall, you can see the interior itself feels nice. The seats are comfortable. You have high quality materials here. Although I, I do wish um, that the door panel here was stitched in leather, but you can see there is more carbon fiber, aluminum trim for the door handles. The windows are all one touch automatic for all four. The steering wheel also looks good with the Type S logo, the contrasting Long Beach blue stitching. And then it's also a uh, manual tilt and telescoping wheel with paddles on the wheel as well. And then, and of course, this has the Acura True Touchpad interface, which, by the way, if you guys are comparing this car to something like the new Accord, like a regular TLX, you're going to notice that the display here is only 10 and a quarter inches. Uh, and it's not a touchscreen. It's very situated far back because you basically want to use this little trackpad here uh, where it has one to one positioning, which it works fine once you get used to it. But I suspect at some point Acura might update this to actually make it a touchscreen and perhaps put the 12 inch display. The instrument panel here, some of you were complaining that the Type S didn't actually get a full digital display like the MDX. That's still the case, of course where you have kind of the smaller helper screen in the center along with the analog gauges. The gauge display still looks good, but it kind of shows me that the TLX is probably due for a refresh in the next year or so, where we could see it get a full digital cluster and a, a bigger display. In terms of the rest of the dash, you can see it's got uh, leather stitching across the entire dash with the same contrasting blue stitching. It's nicely padded down here uh, as well. In the glove box, you can see is uh, bin style. It's damped, but not lined with felt, but it's a pretty uh, big size. But overall, the seats, they definitely feel nice and the interior kind of gives you a high quality premium vibe. But remember, the Type S is not built off of the advanced package. So I am missing a couple of features here, uh, like a 360 camera and a heads up display. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind if you guys want those extra luxury touches. But let's go ahead and hop into the back seat because the TLX Type S is their midsize offering, which eventually Acura will offer an Integra Type S. They haven't uh, showed us the actual production version of that, but you can see the back seat of the TLX Type S has about 34.6 inches of legroom. So it's a little bit tight uh, compared to other vehicles that are kind of in this size category. Considering how big this car is, you can see just under 35 inches of legroom means somebody my height at five foot seven. I'm okay back here, but you definitely feel like it's cramped, especially when you start looking at more mainstream offerings like the Accord, which is uh, bigger than this car by one inch, but it has uh, six more inches of legroom. So that's something to keep in mind. Materials back here is soft touch uh, injection molded plastic. You have rear seat air vents. However, no USB charging ports and no heated rear seats. So th that's something you would get with the advanced package, but sadly Acura doesn't offer it on the Type S models. You have two storage pockets here in each of the seats, and then you can see there's an armrest here that folds down, gives you two cup holders. I also like the fact that Acura at least carried over the blue accented stitching. And by the way, the leather in this car feels really plush. So it constantly reminds you that it is an Acura and it feels a lot more expensive than the Accord, for example. But the technology in this car and I, the fact that Acura doesn't offer an advanced package kind of for me holds it back a little bit. But as long as you're okay with that, uh, this is still a very nice place to spend time. So although Americans continue to buy crossovers by the truckload, it's always really refreshing to me to be able to show you guys an all new sedan. So after seeing the TLX Type S PMC in the sheet metal, I'm pretty happy to say that some of the changes that Acura has made here make this car even more appealing. I love all the black accents. I love the unique front and rear splitter. I like the bronze uh, painted wheels, which by the way, those are the same ones on the uh, high performance tire package TLX and the interior. While it does have some really plush leather, some great materials, the technology in it, the screens primarily definitely need to get an upgrade. So I'm assuming Acura will do that at some point because we can't have the fact that the Accord has a bigger 12 inch display versus the Acura. But overall, the TLX PMC is certainly going to be a unique and rare car. Because remember, if you want to get one of these, Acura is only building about 300 of them for the US market for the 2023 model year. Basically, you're going to get 100 of the white cars, 100 of the red cars, and 100 of the blue cars. And dealers, however, are taking orders to this vehicle, although I have yet to see one on the road. That's how exclusive this car is going to be. And if you're 
going to want one of these cars, you're going to have to pay for that exclusivity because the pricing of the PMC models is going to be about $7,500 more versus a standard Type S. So that car starts at around 55 grand. This car here, however, starts at over $63,000, about 64 when you factor in the destination. Keep in mind, destination charges for this car is around $19.95. It's double the price versus Acura's standard destination charge because the company says that this vehicle, when it ships from the factory in Ohio to wherever dealer you are, at, it's going to be covered uh, by a special carrier to basically cover up the paint, and it'll also be uh, shipped in an enclosed one car kind of carrier style. So it's going to get that special treatment to make sure that this car arrives at the dealership in perfect condition. Because remember, these are all hand built. So as long as you're okay with swallowing that extra $7,500 to get an exclusive color and the bragging rights of driving a car that is literally only one of 300, it may be worth a look, but just keep in mind, if that's not important to you, the regular TLX Type S is around 55 grand, which makes it one of the uh, screaming deals, especially if you guys are looking for a six cylinder, all wheel drive powered luxury sedan. But I hope you guys have enjoyed my uh, brief first overview of the 2023 Acura TLX PMC for Redline Reviews here at the 2023 Chicago Auto Show. I'm Sophie on Bay.